The words you see on the screen are words used to define gender identities of individuals. Functionally, they are equivalent to male or female. The people they describe make up the transgender community. For most of us, transgender is an abstract category or definition, the nuances of which we may or may not fully understand. Oftentimes, the information we have about the transgender community comes from the media and from Hollywood. Prominent figures such as Caitlyn Jenner and Laverne Cox grace the covers of magazines and star in TV shows. They act as spokespeople and advocates for the transgender community. But who are the real people that make up this community? What characterizes them? The American Psychological Association defines transgender as persons whose gender identity, gender expression, or behavior does not conform to that typically associated with the sex to which they were assigned at birth. Gender is an individual's inherent sense of being male, female, or something in between. A binary construct of gender would place individuals into one of two mutually exclusive categories, either male or female. Gender is no longer a binary construct, however. It is actually a fluid spectrum. Gender identity and expression can change throughout a person's life. How has society reacted to this community? The findings of a 2014 study reported several harsh realities. 78% of those who expressed a transgender identity or gender nonconformity, while in grades K-12, through reported alarming rates of harassment. 35% experienced physical assault, and 12% experienced sexual violence. This harassment led to almost one-sixth leaving school in K-12 or higher education. They experienced double the rate of unemployment. 90% of those surveyed reported experiencing harassment, mistreatment, or discrimination on the job. 57% experienced significant family rejection. And 41% of respondents reported attempting suicide compared to 1.6 of the general population. What is it like to live as someone who is transgender or gender nonconforming today? How does one remain resilient in the face of adversity presented to him or her by society? The Ask Transgender subreddit is an online community dedicated to answering these types of questions. I perused the subreddit as a lurker. I never contributed because according to the recently posted demographic survey, 92% of users were transgender. As I observed, I began to understand the character of this community. The Ask Transgender online Reddit community, despite the plethora of struggle, discrimination, and injustice suffered by transgenders in society, is inclusive, open, and supportive of each other and, more importantly, of outsiders. As you dig into the subreddit, you can see these character traits represented in posts throughout. You will notice that members of this community have a set of vocabulary words and technical slang that creates the language they use throughout their posts. Members are fluent in the language of gender identity definitions, which can be foreign and convoluted to outsiders. Any member that is fully initiated can understand this language and can use it to inform someone that is curious about the transgender lifestyle. Take this post from a few days ago. This is Brie. Her post has 152 comments. It's a discussion about how this member identifies herself after genital congruence surgery. She answers very willingly and openly. She begins by explaining that trans with an asterisk is a term meant to be all-encompassing of gender diverse identities. She considers herself, however, to be very much feminine and her gender presentation to be non-conforming and non-binary. One aggressive post about what to call a transgender person is answered with understanding and compassion. Another user notes that a first name works well too. The online community is supportive of its own kind and of outsiders. Members freely share intimate details of their own struggles and offer suggestions. This person feels that he is female but debates if he will ever actually transition. Members offer support. People post to ask about a number of topics, ranging from trivial, posts about clubbing, to more serious. This person is recovering from a suicide attempt. A few days ago, 
there is a particular post that comes from a complete outsider. He finds out he's dating a woman that is transgender. This community could have ignored the question altogether since not individually relevant, but instead, 102 thoughtful comments all lacking any tone other than one to promote understanding. The true patience and kindness that pervades this online community is evident when compared to the other online communities that are similar. Take for example, NFL subreddit and the politics subreddit. The aggressive nature of posts and common usage of profanity sets a hostile tone that sharply contrasts that of the Ask Transgender subreddit. Here, a Patriots fan trash talks the Green Bay Packers for no apparent reason. There are similar instances on the politics subreddit. Note, once Barack won, I swear the monkeys took over the Republican Party. In the United States, transgender individuals experience widespread stigma as a result of their gender discordance. Social, interpersonal, and individual stigma rejects individuality and is a destructive force. The Ask Transgender Community's cultural and social significance is that its members choose to be forward-thinking, decidedly inclusive, and accommodating. In conclusion, the greater transgender community is well-served by this subreddit's positive outreach.